<clears throat> Hi, how are you? I'm Do well, Counselor Lawrence, it's nice to meet you. You know, from our brief phone call, you came in today because you're having a problem figuring out how to bring up your emotions on a day-to-day -day basis because you feel like you dress like a tr premature child. I get that very common situation amongst people you know you get in a rut you feel like you don't really need to make an effort you're going to the same place every day it's hard to feel like you know things matter your appearance matters I get it I get it girl I get it I'm glad you came in today because you know common conversation I'm just here to throw around ideas on how to help you okay this is not I'm not gonna ask you how you feel because I clearly see how you feel girl that sweater but when was the last time you washed it? Oh, December. Okay. Oh well. Hmm. Clearly shows. Just no judgments. No judgments. You you came to the right place. I I see that you need help. It's okay. It's okay. We're here for you. I'm here for you. We can talk. It is a safe place. You know, I'm just gonna take some notes, you know, for the next time we speak, so I don't miss a, don't miss a step. Don't forget, okay? You know, just, uh-huh, you, hard time getting out of bed. Okay, get it, mm-hmm, common, very. <clears throat> mm-hmm, just eating, feeling very sluggish. Okay, got it, got it, feeling sluggish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You find that you only want to wear sweatpants and leggings. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Where do you work? Oh, you work in an office. Do you have casual Fridays? Just, just want to make sure. No, no. Oh, does, has your boss said anything? Oh, there was a memo. There was a there was a memo. Okay, there was a memo stating what exactly? Oh, well, work appropriate. Out. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it. I mean, very like I said, very common. You're not alone, not alone. We can fix this. You Again, I'm here for you. We can fix this, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you. We'll get started with how you're feeling right now. How are you feeling right now? Depressed, depressed, okay, okay. Do you feel very dark and heavy? Do you feel like there's looming sadness? Is that what it is okay all right we can work with that thank you right so I'm gonna give you a prescription you're gonna you're gonna go to you're gonna go to Macy's you're gonna go to the mall I have a few things I need you to pick up and then you're gonna come back here and we're gonna we're gonna start okay okay I'm also gonna prescribe some ice cream and a brisk walk outside in the sun. Okay? Okay. And then we'll bring we'll pick this up next week. Yes? Yes, I'll I'll see you next week. I'll see you on Monday. gang what up squad what up fam it is your favorite side hustling counselor i was gonna say hood counselor but i'm not really in the hood so i mean call it whatever you want but if you are new here welcome if you're not welcome back my name is shalar and this is a safe place as you can see by my attire and you know the opening skit itch i feel like it's a real conversation amongst people um today we are talking about dressing up your emotions okay so this is a common thing something that i struggled with for a long time and shout out to my mom because she is the one who helped me with this we're going to figure out how to make your emotions seem better than what they are 
Okay, that sounds weird. I know it does, but let me explain. Before we jump into this video, please thumbs up this video if you like it. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I post. Smash that subscribe button because you know everybody needs a support system. So let's help this support group grow. Be a part of the gang. Be a part of the squad. Be a part of the, the fam, you know? All of that. All of the above. And hit the comment section below to let me know what things that you want to see or if you have anything to add to this video, any comments you want to just share, you know, opinions. They're all welcome unless they're negative, then you can take several steps to the left, okay? Now, without further ado, let's hop into this video. Okay, so dressing up your expressions and your emotions. Um, first thing is my mom used to tell me because I used to struggle with this, I was not as fashionable as I am now for those of you who know me personally. Um, for those of you who are new here, you're probably just like, mm, girl, are you really that fashionable? You could be the judge. I don't really care. The way I'm very happy with how far I've come. I have high functioning depression. For those of you who don't know, um, there are days where life seems like 15 tons of weight just dropped on my head and I just want to ball up under my comforters and, you know, never leave the house again. But I have to because I have a job where I work for children. And I actually enjoy my job, don't get me wrong. I enjoy my job. And I like to go out, I like to experience life, okay? That's what high functioning is, I can do things. It's not crippling. Even though there are times where things get dark. But to combat this, my mom used to tell me all the time, when you feel like crap, dress better than how you feel. And I know people are just like, what? Dress better than how you feel? Dress better than how you feel is actually a very true statement and I'm going to go, I'm gonna allow. Dressing better than how you feel is basically taking your emotions, analyzing them, coming to a common consensus of how you feel that day, and then trying to find clothes that combat that feeling to an extent. So if, and I'm going to go through several examples in this video, so I have like, six to eight outfits in this video. So you'll see what I mean from like various types of people. So tomboyish, girly, simple, things like that. But there are days where it's really hard for you to get up and get dressed and go out without overthinking your outfit or underthinking your outfit. And I know it's very stressful, especially if you're not in one of those jobs where you have to really like put effort into your appearance. If you have a uniform, kudos to you. It is a little easier, I'm not gonna lie. But if you don't, I think this video is perfect for you because I know there's days that are better than others. First feeling we're going to address, it's my personal one, depression. If you're feeling very depressed about how, oh girl, why y'all ain't tell me my, my hump, my unicorn thingy was not centered. Y'all y'all not friends. Y'all not, y'all not, y'all not real. Y'all fake. Y'all are not real. Just gonna let that be all crooked. Anywho. Depression. Now, most people, when they hear depression, they automatically think of emo people. So goths, straight up black, and you're right. Most of the time I do wear black, but it's not just because I'm depressed, but it's also because I'm fat and it makes me look slimmer, okay? I can be honest about that. But in this particular case, your first instinct is to lean towards something black or dark colored, you can do that. But what you do when you do that is combat it with something lighter. You don't wanna wear all dark colors and all black. You wanna throw in a nice, fun, livelier color to help cheer up your day. This is, when getting dressed, when you're going through your wardrobe, Always try to incorporate one thing in your outfit that makes you smile. Whether it is brightly colored socks, my personal fave, a brightly colored t-shirt, or something with a pattern on it. As you'll see, I'll point out as I go through this video, the different types of happy items that I've put on. They make me smile, so that's why I choose to wear them. But with the first outfit, we have a pastel goth t-shirt. So it is a black t-shirt. It's leaning straight into your black, but the pattern on it is bright and colorful, which cheers me up. And then I paired it with denim, but I paired it with a lighter, medium to lighter wash denim so it doesn't make my whole look seem dark and drab. I look relatively like I put in some kind of effort because then I would pair it with either sneakers or I'd probably put on like a fun boot to emphasize one of the colors in the shirt 
or just makes me look like I put a little bit more structure and time and effort into my appearance that day. I, you can't see the shoes in these videos, but that's what I would pair it with. So just so you know, like always try and combat the dark with something lighter. Um, and then the second outfit, you know, simple black dress, black fishnets, but the fishnets have a pattern on them. Keep it fun, keep it light. But then I have on a white leather jacket, so that brightens up the rest of the look since it's just all black. And then I'd probably either put on white boots or I'd probably put on a different color because, you know, black and white goes with everything, which you'll soon see later. But instead of going for all muted black, all dark, all drab, and you always need to find something that makes you smile, something to brighten up and contrast against all the black so it makes you less sad. And this way people are just like, you look chic. You look cute. And it's less likely for people to be like, are you? I did do a lot of color theory research in for this video. I'm sorry, my laptop is right here. I have my notes. Um, you know, being all professional. <laughs> Got my notes. So our next emotion we're gonna talk about is anxious. For those days that you're feeling anxious. And for those of you who don't really know what anxious means, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, it really means just like when you're feeling uneasy or just trying to like you're kind of jittery emotionally. So to combat that, by the way, I used a lot of color theory in this video, so I'll explain more of that on the at the end. But for anxiety, people usually are bouncing around emotionally. Anxiety is not one set emotion, which is a big misconception. Now, to combat this, you want to try and go for more muted neutral colors to calm yourself. Okay, so you want to go for whites, mid-tone blues, neutrals, right, right? Hence why a lot of therapists wear neutrals because they want to give you that calming sense that it is a comfortable place for you to speak. For those more adventurous days, you know, when y'all be like, girl, I feel good today. You feel real optimistic and you feel like you're ready to try something new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this works for men too, because I do this with Steven all the time. My brother does this and I don't even think he realizes he does this, but shout outs to you, Jamal, and your colors. Okay, when you're feeling optimistic and adventurous, you want to try and go for something that stands out a little bit more. So for our first thing, First outfit, I got on a plain t-shirt, plain denim, but I popped on my rainbow jacket with a pattern. So not only is it patterned, it's got multicolors. So it's definitely, in a, it's, a, it's a speaking piece, okay? It definitely, it's a conversational piece. It brings up somebody's attention. Somebody is willing to give you a compliment from this jacket. And it, the more compliments you get, the better you're gonna feel about your day, okay? And it definitely is that one piece of the outfit that makes me smile every time I look at it, okay? Um, by the way, in the lap for anxious, the denim jacket was my, my happy piece because I like how it's ombre and covers a bunch of things and it's oversized, you know? But um, for our second anxious, no, optimistic outfit, that's where we're on. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I'm sorry, it's been a long day, seen a lot of people, had a lot of conversations, try to help a lot of people out today. Um, we're taking it to runway chic i know patterns still sticking with the patterns this can be a little scary for some people but mixing and matching patterns is a thing it is actually very trendy especially since polka dot is in the forefront of this year's fashion okay i mean i've always loved polka dots it's always a timeless thing it comes back every year but mixing it with stripes i know it sounds crazy right 
but that's where we're being optimistic and adventurous. that I have on this polka dot blouse with these black and white striped pants. And honestly, I have polka dot pants too and a striped top, so I might mix and match and do the reverse at some point in time. Y'all might peep it on the Instagram, you know? <laughs> Being all professional, I can have fun too. Don't, <laughs> your therapists have lives, okay? Okay, your counselors have lives. All these working professionals have lives. We like to get down at brunch, okay? Um, but yeah, so, mixing and matching patterns. They definitely spark attention and conversation because a lot of people aren't daring enough to try it and when they see other people try it they're just like huh i like that but i don't think i like that for me but i like that and you somehow end up getting a compliment on it i would pair this with like a red shoe or a yellow shoe and then do like the opposing color bag so a red bag or a yellow bag that's how i would do it because it's black and white and you can do both and it's kind of inspired by the michelle obama outfit that she wore a few years back where she had a black and white polka dot dress but i believe she had on a yellow belt and red shoes she was so cute so chic i'm just saying patterns Patterns get people talking. Patterns also give you a sense of empowerment that you didn't realize you didn't have until you put them on. You're just like, ooh, I look good today. I'm ready to take on the world, okay? Speaking about empowerment, since we're talking about empowerment, you know, your girl went and thought of anger, but also power. When you hear anger, what color automatically jumps to your mind? I'm gonna give you a second. This is like Dora the Explorer, go ahead. Yes, red, red is the color, right? So I decided to incorporate red here. Now, ooh, got my little string falling out. Red is definitely a strong color. It is also a very contradicting color. And that's why I put these two things together because it combats two moods. If you happen to wake up one day and you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and you're not really sure how you need to tackle this day or you just like I'm not taking anybody's mess you throw on something red because it, it comes off as I'm strong I'm secure in what I feel today and I'm ready to take on the world and it's the same thing for if you had like a business meeting you want to throw something red on with your power suit if you want to wear a red power suit if you're that bold i suggest you do it okay so for this out for the first outfit we got my red flared pants which i absolutely adore they are so comfortable and they have pockets i have a plain white bodysuit on and a black and white striped blazer the pattern with the color shows that hey i'm fun but i mean business okay we could talk we can have this conversation. I wanna see the paperwork. I want everybody to be signing on these dotted lines, okay? That's what this outfit says. But it means I'm not playing any games. My attitude can flare up, okay? I can go from zero to a thousand real quick. Don't try me today, don't test these. For the second outfit, I put on a red dress. The red dress, the red like slip dress, which I don't really wear often as a slip dress. I wear it as a top sometimes, mm -hmm. but I like this outfit with the black long line blazer and some cute shoes. If you go into a brunch or like a business lunch or if like a early dinner where you have to speak business informally, informally, I'm saying, ooh, informally. I don't know, my grammar just went out the window. Yes, it's, it's a little scandalous if you look at it that sense, but this particular one, it covers everything. Yes, there's a little lace on it, but paired with this long line blazer and a nice tote bag and some strong shoes, it's just like, yes, Bob. Bob, I'm here, but I'm not playing today, Bob, okay? Mm-hmm, I look good. Don't, don't mistake the appearance. I, I'm here to play ball. Let's talk, Bob. You wanna talk about a merger? We could talk about a merger, but I'm having a cocktail with this merger. Okay, and you're paying for it. That's what this is. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I agree, thank you. So, that's, what, that's the vibe you wanna give. Okay, red gives you that vibe, regardless of how you pair it, okay? Red is that color where you're just like, oh, honey, you are fierce, but you are here to 
you here to work. You putting in that work. You mean business. You a fierce business woman, okay? Okay, same thing for men. Color theory does work for men as well. Shows that, you know, they have a lot more, the colors can be a lot more welcoming, okay? But well, that's a separate video actually, color theory. So we're on our last two emotions. So of course, one of our emotions is happiness. You know, sometimes you wake up, you be feeling like you're in a good mood and you wanna know how to express that in your clothing instead of just smiling at everyone 24 seven out of the day, it's annoying. And it hurts after a while. Wear bright colors. If you Google happy colors, you're going to see pastel colors like I have on in this video. I'm wearing my lavender pastel dress that I got recently and yes you guys are seeing a lot of repeat clothes but that's because I'm not buying anything else you can do all of this with the clothes you already have in your closet okay you don't have to buy anything else but pastel colors whites light blues you know you want yellows bright oranges even if you don't want to go with pastel colors neons do this too but we're not gonna go into neons that's a lot for one day but so a pastel dress, I put on a denim jacket to be trendy and cute, just in case they're a little cold, you know, spring be acting up sometimes. But in the next outfit, I have on these light blue and white striped pants with this white bodysuit. And you've already seen this outfit on my old Instagram. If you followed my old Instagram, but follow my new Instagram, it's in the intro, just so you know. Um, it's a very light, airy outfit. So the pants are almost like linen, but they're not, they're cotton, but they're very lightweight. But the colors, are very welcoming. You see me in white, I give off purity, I give off innocence. You see the blue, I give off the sky, a beautiful day, I'm open, I'm welcoming. Even when, especially if you see a smile across this face, you just wanna come and say hello, okay? Gives off that vibe of, how are you? I'm so glad to see you today, okay? It makes you feel, makes you feel a lot more lighthearted. It makes the day go by a little faster. People wanna talk to you. Next thing you know, you're having 17 different conversations that you weren't even planning on having today. And you know, people seem to be a lot nicer to people in brighter colors. That's literally a thing. So when, you want, when you're happy and you want to exude even more happiness and joy to others, brighter colors are Say on those really really dark days where you're feeling beyond depressed and you really don't want to leave the house or you're feeling very very down I would suggest that you wear bright colors to combat your feeling because by the time you go outside and people start to compliment the outfit or people start to say you look nice today or it's bright and sunny and your outfit coincides with that eventually as the day progresses you will be a lot happier than when you started out okay, so our last emotion is indifferent and you're probably like how is indifferent emotions it's an emotion because you feel it. This face, meh, is like the emoji movie, meh. Thanks for that reference, Steven. <laughs> That's an emotion. Some days you wake up and you're just like, what am I gonna wear? Like I could look cute today, but I could look frumpy today, but I don't really care what I look like today. Go for neutral. Be a therapist. When you wear neutrals, it makes the day easier, okay? Can never fail with a neutral because everyone likes neutrals, okay? Neutrals go with everything. You you can put on any color with a neutral because it's neutral, okay? Like my, it's, it's like my foundation shade, neutral, okay? I can put anything on it. In the first, dress, first outfit, I have on a khaki dress. This khaki neutral dress, it's like this shade almost. Um, first time I ever bought a neutral skin tone nude thing aside from this tank top that I got like 
wow years ago um i got so many compliments on this dress and i wasn't even wearing spanx this dress was amazing i'm just saying vibes okay everybody was just like girl you look good girl that dress is awesome girl that dress is bomb where did you get that dress from i love that dress on you i had so many compliments i was like y'all compliment me more in neutral than it when i make colors i was like oh snap let me find out this dress got some hidden gems my point being when you wear neutrals you cover all your bases for people who don't like color for people who do like color for you if you didn't know if you wanted to wear color or not wear color you wear neutral you fall into all categories it's okay and i'm telling you you will get compliments somebody always likes a classic chic neutral outfit because it goes with everything you fit every aesthetic you fit every place that you're going to be in so the same outfit that i have on right now is our last outfit yes I wore it with leggings in this. If you're just running errands and running around, you can wear it with boots, you can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with flats. You can even wear it with sandals if it's warm enough. But if you're trying to just, if you're going out somewhere and you just don't know what to wear, put on jeans. Blue jeans, they go with everything. Black jeans goes with everything. You don't have to stress it. Shoot, you can even put on white jeans. Goes with everything. You don't have to stress it. And you're good for brunch. You're good for lunch. You're good for dinner. You're good for breakfast. You're good for a business meeting. An impromptu business meeting. If it's, you know, a last minute thing. If you have to run into work for something, you're still presentable. If you just run into a concert or something, you're still cute, casual, and chic. It is a multi-purpose thing. So. covered all of the outfits and the slight color theory inserts here I'm gonna explain why color theory works in this situation so for one what does clothing do for people clothing has the power to change your mood it definitely does like I said you're feeling really bad put on brighter colors you feeling happy put on even brighter colors feeling indifferent drop in neutrals you go with everything color Clothing and colors definitely can uplift your mood or make your mood very drab. It's the same thing in the things that you watch. When you see filters over movies and TV shows, it gives you a sense of what's happening. It changes the tone and the mood of the entire cinematic presence, okay? By the way, I am taking a film class, so that's why these words are thrown in here. I mean, I am a big movie buff and I knew this already, but for your sake, I'm going to break it down into layman's terms. So, clothing and colors can make you feel more powerful, confident, bold, you know, attractive, intelligent. It can give off intelligence. What I'm wearing right now, I'm telling you right now, if I wore this in a meeting, fake glasses and all, people automatically assume that I'm way more intelligent than I really am. And I'm actually, fi I'm highly intelligent to begin with. Like, I'm not even saying that to be narcissistic. I'm saying that like legitimately anyone who knows me, I take the time to read. I like to read, that's a side note. But if you saw me in this outfit, and even if I didn't have on jeans and I had like relative dress pants on with flats, you're telling me I don't look like an educated sister with a college degree? You're telling me that you wouldn't start a current events conversation with me thinking that I wouldn't have anything to contribute to it? This right here gives you the impression that I'm an intelligent intellectual. I read, I'm a good conversationalist okay that i'm probably someone that you can learn something from and carry a like i can th drop some gems like i'm giving to you right now this ensemble right now is giving you power intelligence and confidence all in the same thing and you didn't even realize it but best believe subconsciously you see me on the street like this especially if i have a laptop in front of me or i have coffee you think that i'm an active businesswoman or i'm a college student like in depth doing like their thesis paper or something. It is there. And as much as people like to not think about it, it's there and subconsciously you already thought about it. Color theory can help express emotions more than what you think when it comes to your clothing. So now if you were to just take like what I'm wearing in mixed match colors, 
it comes off differently if my headscarf had patterns on it you'd be like okay sis got some she, she got some jig going on all right this was black you'd be like all right you know maybe she worked at sephora if this was like yellow you're just like oh that's a bright welcoming color especially if i'm smiling at you i'm telling you you're gonna be like oh she's so welcoming hi i want to talk to you but you probably don't want you probably want to change the conversational topic see what i mean here um color theory and clothing together can really makes make or break your day and these are things that you don't realize but subconsciously you do when you pick out your clothing when you're sad or you're feeling down you naturally gravitate towards darker clothing especially if you have body insecurities it makes you seem slimmer and you're happier you have a tendency to gravitate towards lighter and brighter colors but all in all color theory and clothing can definitely lift your mood if you're feeling down express your feelings if you really don't know how you feel or exude more of your feeling and express it more in the sense of i'm happy and i want everyone else to feel how happy i am and i want to share that happiness by what you're wearing you can do all of that by the shirt that you put on the jacket you decide to wear the shoes that you decide to wear it matters it makes a difference um i hope this was helpful i genuinely do i hope this was helpful i hope that you know we can continue this conversation i am trying to plan a version of this video for men not just women but for men as well men are included i have a brother i have a, I have a stepdad i you know i have a boyfriend i have men in my life and it does work on the other side of the spectrum too but i hope this was helpful for all of you ladies the fam be a part of the squad be a part of the gang gang just saying you know your friendly neighborhood counselor out here trying to serve educational looks um and to everyone that always keeps coming back thank you for all your support i truly appreciate it and for all of you who are new here thank you for stopping by i hope you stop by again and join the family and until next time the world will get better it is healing itself and i know we are in rough times but i assure you in these rough times we'll be okay so try and stay positive try and be creative try to stay grounded try to heal yourself before healing anyone else and try to do your best and always stay you <laughs>